Welcome. In this video, we're going to take a look at the workflow for Tracker Stories. We're currently looking at a project that's based on a travel website. And here I have an icebox of stories that I can plan, and I have my iteration four currently in progress. Let's say that the team has recently gotten an enhancement request of a story to allow travelers to save their frequent flyer numbers to their profile. This is a feature story that turns out to be a very high priority item. So it's something that we've decided we want to drag over and start work on immediately. I can drag it over, but my current work that is already in progress is automatically more important than a story I haven't started yet. So I can't put it above work that's in progress, but I can put it at the very top above all of the other stories that I haven't started. And once it started, I could drag it above the others if I wished. Once a story has been estimated in that you have assigned story points to it, um, you will see the start button, which allows you to start it. If the story has not yet been estimated, however, then you won't be able to start it until you give it an estimate. So let's say that after discussing this story, um, the team has decided that this story is worth two points. So we're going to go ahead and take this story now and drag it over. And the team has decided that this story to um, allow our users to save frequent flyers is one that they're going to start immediately. So they're going to click start. Now that they've clicked start, the background has um, a change to a yellow background, and that indicates that this story is currently in progress. If we wanted to indicate that this was perhaps our most important story, we could in fact now drag it to the top. It's now being coded by our developers. Um, they may be doing unit testing, they may be doing other work as well. They may have things like a coverview as a part of this story and may assign a developer to do that code review. So initially it will be unstarted. Then it will move to in progress. When um, it finishes, they have the option to either pass or revise. We'll say in this case that it passes and they can add a comment. I'm just going to say it passed, but your comments may be more detailed. Um, note that even when the story is collapsed, you can see the reviews, both the review type and the review status is shown on that story. When the development work is finished and any reviews associated with the development stage are done, the developers can click finish. At this point, the story is ready to be delivered to a um, QA or staging environment where it can be further tested and where the PM has the option to accept or reject. When it has been delivered, um, we can click that and it now has the options to either accept or reject. Um, if QA is using the review feature, they may come in and start their review. Um, and then they have the option to again come in and accept or reject. And if they do so, um, they again will be prompted to enter a comment. Those comments will get entered down in the activity feed. So you will see those there. In addition, if you're using any of Tracker's SCM integrations, then as the developers are creating branches, doing pull requests, and doing commits, you will see those within the tracker story as well. And as a best practice, we recommend that as the developers are doing work on the story, that they're documenting that in the activity feed as well. So going back to our story, let's say that our PM has identified an issue where this particular story does not in fact meet the acceptance criteria. In that case, they would have to click the reject button and detail why does not meet acceptance criteria. And again, they would detail what that is and hopefully they would spell it right, which I did not in this video. So they will click the reject button. 
Um, and you'll see that the story now has a restart status and it's actually going to go through all of those same states again. So I'm going to click restart and it is now in progress. We'll click finish. It is ready to be delivered. When we click deliver, it has been delivered and it's ready to be reviewed. You can restart the reviews. Um, so if QA was going to review it, um, you can restart those reviews or create a new one depending on how you would prefer to handle that. Let's say in this click case, we will click accept. If you click accept and you have an incomplete task or an incomplete review or an incomplete blocker, Tracker is actually going to identify that and give you a warning. So I can go back and take a look and say, well, what was that task? Ah, I did do that. I just forgot to check it off. So let me go ahead and accept that. And now I'll click accept again. And now that story is completed. I can choose to hide it if I want or show it, but it will stay within this iteration until this iteration is over. When this iteration has finished, an iteration four marker will get added to the done panel and all of the completed work will move over automatically. If there is any incomplete work in iteration four, it's going to move down to iteration five. Tracker is going to recalculate our velocity and replan the current iteration and backlog based on what our velocity will be at the end of iteration four. But for right now, iteration four isn't over, so this story stays right up here at the top of this iteration. Bugs uh, within Tracker have the same workflow that you just saw for my feature story. So we click Start. It immediately jumps on top of any work that we haven't started because work that's in progress, again, is automatically more important than work we haven't started yet. So it is in progress. When I click Finish, it is ready to be delivered. When I click Deliver, it has been delivered. It is ready to be reviewed and either accepted or rejected. If we click Accept, then that story as well has moved up to the completed stories for this iteration. Chores, however, have a different workflow from Features and Bugs. Features and Bugs are both customer-facing things that offer value hopefully, to our end users. Features are new pieces of functionality that we are building for our stakeholders or our users. Bugs are things that are customer-facing problems that we are fixing. Chores, however, tend to be things that are more on the back end. So a chore might be a spike where we are investigating different models for um, solving maybe a problem that we're facing or a chore could be something where we need to upgrade something in our development environment or set up a sandbox for testing. These are things that don't directly impact our end users. And they're things that typically we don't have a sign off for. Since we don't have sign off, the workflow is simpler. So for a chore, we click start. And now we've jumped up to the top because it's in progress, but now it's in progress. And when we click finish, our chore is simply done. It's not going to be delivered. It's not going to be accepted because again, it was just a more of a backend type of story that we were doing more because we needed to, but not something that we were going to have a PM or QA accept or reject. So that is how the story workflow works, no pun intended, within Pivotal Tracker. Um, thanks for watching and be sure to check out our other Tracker videos to learn more.